If you've ever gone in to do your import uh, into QuickBooks Desktop with a QBO file, and maybe you're updating a whole bunch of different accounts all at the same time, you might run into this every once in a while where you go and you're getting ready to pull the import into it. Everything's going great. And for some reason, nothing shows up or it says there's nothing new to put in. There are no new transactions available. But you know you just grabbed the file and you're putting it in. What that means is you probably grabbed a file as a duplicate, you've tried to put it in a second time, and that's why it's not seeing anything new. Uh, as you can see here, it, it's a little bit smaller numbers, but there's actually 52 transactions pending for me to look at it. So if those haven't been cleared, then of course they're not going to be able to get pulled in, they're already sitting inside there. So it's actually great that it catches that. Um, this commonly happens if when you go to download the information, if you just come in here and you just say I'm going to export the file and you just click OK, I, I want to open the file right away, there's always the potential you could go into the wrong account and then the next time you go to use it, which will just go boom, the next time you go to use that, it actually will be forced into that wrong account again possibly. So if you don't then go to disconnect it, every time you go to push it in, it will keep trying to go to the wrong account. This is why it's really important why we recommend go into QuickBooks, make sure it's open to the appropriate file, then choose to import it and where it needs to go to. That way you're controlling the process for it. It's much, much cleaner. Everything in wooden great. If you've got additional questions or looking for some advice, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly at info at parkwaymail.com. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.